is it? George's bequest to his favourite stepdaughter. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me get this right. And to the beautiful stepdaughter Carla, I bequeath my mother's lizard brooch encrusted in semi-precious stones. Ah. Uh, treasure it forever. Could be worth some of that. I shall it was George. I can make money from selling tower. I won't give you 20 pence for it. What did you get? Cufflinks. Chucked him in a skip outside of the solicitor's office. You all right? Yeah. Thanks for doing that. No, no worries. Well, uh, I'll see you later. Yeah. No! Oh, Carla! Look, he's not for the one to try. I was all set to tell him this morning, but he, he legged it out of the house with a gobful of toast. Joe, you know I'm getting sick of the sound of my own voice, me. Look, I will tell him by the end of today if it takes me writing it on the side of a hot air balloon in six foot letters, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And where is he now? In the back. Oh, yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry. Well, firstly, I wanted to talk, and then Michelle had to tell me all about your recent inheritance. Too. Right. You okay? Look, it just seems like I haven't had five minutes to talk to you today. Uh, what are you doing? Don't make your pardon. Well, you should knock. Well, I will, okay. But I thought I'd told you to go and check the room, sorry. I have, I'm just going to... Yes, well, Eva, it's common practice to knock him in. We could have been having a private conversation, couldn't we? Sorry. No, it's, uh, it's OK. Um, well, anyway, the Lewis order is done, so you should be going out any minute. Well, that's cutting it fine. Hey, hey, thanks for that. Right, listen, I'd better get off to my meeting, so wish me luck. Well, you, you, you going already? Yeah, I don't want to be late. Well, how long will you be? I, I, I don't know, but I've got to take sight of the dentist after. I beg your pardon? Listen, I promise you I will be as quick as I can, OK? Would you like a coffee or a herbal tea or anything? Would you like me to tell you what you can do with your herbal tea, Eva? Well, we used to be an old mouth an hour ago. I'm really sorry. How could you have lost the flaming van keys? I don't know. I thought they was on the hook, but when I looked, they weren't. But you didn't think to tell me. I've been looking for them. Oh, I really work. don't need this. Me neither. Oh, no. I mean, I don't need to be surrounded by incompetence. Honestly, Kirk, how difficult can it be to drive through boxes from A to B? Even if we hired a flaming monkey, I think we'd have more flaming success. Uh, what's going on? Why is it I have to do everything? Why is it nobody's capable of completing simple tasks? We've lost the van keys. I can't work out where they've gone. Right, um, I've, I've a look in the, the toolbox out on the loader bay. There used to be a spare set there. Yeah, Kirk, just, just look everywhere else. OK. Thank you. You're all right? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> Obviously, you're not fine. Well, it's just a bad day, all right? Come here. No, don't. What's wrong? It's fine. It's just flipping fine. <laughs> <laughs> 